Hi guys, I wish I could go live. I just talked to my newspaper guy, Ed, from um, the Bath Evening Chronicle back in my home city in the southwest in Bath. And he's doing a story, which is fantastic. And he's including these lovely people here in the story. But look, I'm just, so up there are the pods. So just, do you see them? Just up there, that's the pods and their farm is around there. And in the summer, they also have, um, down there, they have a coffee. Erin has like a coffee place where you can get coffee and snacks down there, but it's not open at the moment. And right over there is the Strand Beach. And the ferry bridges and the wishing chair are this way. And if you look at this beach, it's absolutely beautiful. And the sand dunes, look at the sand dunes, they're amazing. I'm really enjoying my time here and I will... Uh, be going to the lifeboat station a bit later and that's Aaron's brother so Damon look at this so we are whoops turn it around we're going is it gonna let me turn it around so we're going on the Rougie cliff walk here, here all the little signs and that is the Strand Beach over there I will do some videos I'm sorry, I will take some pictures later. We are on Tulan Strand. The ferry bridge, look at that. Centuries ago, people, oh, two rocks on the beach are puffing holes. When the tide is right, the sea crashes through them, blowing water upwards. The ferry bridges. Centuries ago, people believed that fairies haunted the rocks and that the boom of the waves was the sound of fairy guns. Holidaymakers flocked to visit the bridges and sent postcards home. The famous wishing chair. People from poets to surfers have sat in the wishing chair. The tradition is to approach it carefully, not to disturb its powers, and then sit down slowly, holding onto both arms. Make a silent wish. Keep it private and it might come true. That's cool. And I have to take a picture of myself under the two land strand. There's another one of those things. I've had a few pictures under those. But look, there's surfers out there. Can you imagine surfing where you've got this incredible beach and then you're looking out of the mountains? It's amazing, isn't it? Look at that. Fabulous. The beach is stupendous. So for some reason there's a bevy of birds out on a little rock or something right there. Can you see it? They're doing something. And then you've got the mountains. Snow-capped mountains. Absolutely incredible. And then you've got surfers in the water on a winter's day. And you've got this incredible, wonderful, wonderful beach. And the sand dunes and the pods up there. Look at that. Beautiful. I just can't get over those mountains with the snow on. It's just amazing. You've got to be careful of the black ice. So this morning I went to feed the horses and the sheep with Derek, not Martin. Martin was the guy from the coffee shop. Hello, Maria. Hello, Martin. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that was fun this morning. Look at these waves. I love it. What an incredible beach. Absolutely breathtaking. Got some good waves there to surf on. I plod along. I'm going to do another video in a minute and show you the wishing um, bridge and everything because I want to take some pictures. Bye.